animate anyone, you might have seen these videos go viral on Twitter or on Reddit. It's a character animation AI by Alibaba for controllable image to video generation. Basically, it allows you to take an image of a humanoid character. It could be an image of a person, an AI generated person, an anime character, cartoon character, etc and generate a video based on the pose video that you pass on to it. You can do any motions as you might have seen in the examples. And it does a pretty good job at it. You can generate motion video files from any other pre-existing video and then transfer that particular motion to a new character image. The original paper is by Alibaba Group but they haven't released the source code or a public demo yet but there have been many implementations based on the paper and today we will look at Moore Animate Anyone who have released the source code, open source models, training data as well as helper scripts and a hugging face demo. Let's see this project in action using their hugging face demo. So you need two things, an image and a motion sequence. Let's first just use the provided example. This is the motion sequence. I'll let things be at the default settings for now and press animate. And we have this one second animated clip. This is because this video is 24 FPS and we're only generating 24 frames. Let's change this to 96 frames for a 4 second video and let's change the reference image to this one. The reference image is in a very different pose so I'm curious to see how it will segment it and animate it. Um, here's the output, not exactly what I was hoping for, very squished, very weird face. Uh, the input image really does matter. Let's change the size since the size of the reference image gets skewed. I'll increase the height and width. Here's the output. Um, the face still kind of looks weird. Alright, let's try a different reference input image. And here's the output. Alright. Uh, finally, let's try with an OK input image without any background and a clear pose. Yeah, uh, this particular pose animation. And let's make Nanami Kento dance to this. And after animate, here's the final output. Let's do a full four seconds. I also want to see what changing the sampling steps and guidance scales will do. And here's the final output. Okay, all the code is available on the GitHub repository and you can run everything offline. It also includes a script which allows you to create motion sequence from existing videos. I will most likely do a video on how to install and run this locally. Again, see you all soon. Bye.